Hey guys, so, um, my camera sucks right now. So I thought that I'm gonna go to Best Buy and pick up a new camera. I do have the protection plan, so they are going to hopefully replace this camera. What's up? This is my new camera, check it out. Woo! Nice, it looks almost the same, but it's a little bit larger. My other camera, if you notice, there it went out of focus so much. It was so annoying, it kept going out of focus. I know this one will probably do it eventually too, but for now, it looks pretty awesome. I also noticed on the camera that the microphone is actually in the front now instead of on the top. But yeah, new camera, woo! So now I'm gonna head off to get a little bit of a haircut just because I wanna switch things up a little bit. It's getting a little cold. <laughs> You probably won't even be able to tell the difference. Check it out, my haircut! I'm going to see my friend right now, Vincent. Yay, he's over here at the Tesla store. Look at that, we're at the Tesla store. I close on my head, right? Oh, that would be bad. <laughs> it has like a giant iPad screen. Nice. 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 So I was told that my arms, that my skin's elasticity, it pretty much has gotten to its maximum, which is kind of sad. I had the um, a fitness masseuse who used to be a plastic surgeon was like, "Yeah, your skin is pretty much as, um, has reached its maximum elasticity. So after this, it's just gonna start showing stretch marks." And I was kind of like, "Oh, I have like a few stretch marks like right here." And then I was like asking, I was like, well, is there anything I can do to like make my skin more stretchy? <laughs> Apparently there isn't anything. It's just genetically like your skin is either tight or really loose. I don't know. So I guess I have the other half of the problem there. I am out of food. I need to get some more. Look at this. There's like nothing here. It's time to go Target and Trader Joe's. Okay. On to Trader Joe's. I didn't like this one, by the way. Sparkling grape juice? Hmm. Whenever I'm here, I can't find anything I want to buy. Only junk food. You just walk around in circles, confused. <laughs> Stanford. Cornell. Yeah! Oh, the song's on the radio! Turn it up. Oh! She don't know me, but he's setting up to blow me. Send my Twitter picture, my name of Naomi. On the low, I used to holler at Tommy. F and now she gonna ride me like a pony. Okay, thug probably, you come Polly. If you wanna F a bad dolly and pop Molly, I hope your pockets got a mother effing pop bully. Or is it that you never ball? Jung Sully, he had the rolls and the Royce, the tone in his voice. Don't want a good girl now, hoes is his choice. Always get the cart that makes a loud noise. Nobody else's cart ever makes this noise, I noticed. It's always mine. Crazy. I gotta stock up on all the paper supplies. Paper towels, toilet papers, everything. It's like the yearly stock up time. Scented trash bags. Hmm, vanilla scent. What is this, lavender scent? Trying all the smells again. <laughs> oh my gosh. Now I smell apples wherever I go. Excuse me, sir, do you have the gray poupon? Last time I called this Jumex and everyone got all angry at me. I guess it's Humex. Ooh, shake and bake. <laughs> Ooh, look, pineapple juice. In Hawaii, we just call it juice. Just kidding. Two for four, regular 339 for Flamin' Hot Cheetos. Guess I'll get those. Okay, this Elmo is doing it correctly, but this one's trying to strangle the kid. <laughs> this cart is so loud. They do this for marketing. Don't you want to buy it because of this woman here? Are you serious with these? Is that like a new Lunchable? Ah, okay. Finally done. This camera does the dark, like nighttime shots pretty well. It looks pretty bright. I just went and got Allison Gold's favorite food. Chinese food! 
I love Chinese food because Chinese food relieves my stress. Later on, I'm gonna get Panda Express. Chow m m m m main. Okay, I'm back home. Check it out. Here's all the stuff. Woo! Here it is. At least there's more stuff now. <laughs> now time to eat my Chinese food. Yeah! Check it out. They gave me three fortune cookies. Fortune cookies. Tell my future. I just finished watching another Netflix movie. This time I saw After Earth starring Will Smith. This movie was actually directed by M. Night Shyamalan who has done some pretty good movies as well as some terrible movies. Most people, I'm pretty sure, did not even know this movie was directed by M. Night Shyamalan. You know why? Because the marketers were smart enough to take his name off of pretty much everything. You'd have to look very carefully to even notice that that's because the marketers knew people don't like M. Night Shyamalan anymore. I actually was looking forward to seeing this movie in theaters until I found out that M. Night Shyamalan was directing it, then I was like, I'll just wait for it to come on in Blu-ray. And I'm glad I did. You know why? I'm sorry if you liked it, but I thought this was one of the worst movies I've ever seen. I wish I could have unwatched it. I can't understand how a director like M. Night Shyamalan could create something this bad. I remember The Last Airbender was pretty bad. I feel like this one was even worse. I couldn't find a single redeeming value about the movie. The whole movie, I just kept going, this is so bad. The thing that I couldn't stand the most was the cinematography. The, ca the camera angles were just so poorly done that it didn't even feel theatrical at all. Another thing that really, really ruined it was the, the soundtrack. There was almost no music, so it was just silent the whole time. I was like, you could have had background sounds at least for the space sequences, but no, it's just totally silent and it's just a little bit of dialogue and mostly just silence. The script was terrible. The storytelling, the story was just very, very uneven. I do really, really want to like every movie that I watch and I always try to give it the benefit of the doubt, but this one, I just like, it seems as if the only way this movie could have been this bad was that they we're trying to make it that bad. So my final review out of four stars for After Earth would be zero stars. It's like one of the only movies that I've ever given zero stars to. No reason to watch it at all. Unless you just want to watch something really, really, really bad. <laughs> okay, so the first fortune from my fortune cookie says... You must learn to broaden your horizons day by day. Okay. Okay, second fortune cookie. Happy events will take place shortly in your home. Nice, I like that one. Third one says, share your abundant humor with others. I already do that in my vlog. Woo. It's getting late, I'm gonna head to bed. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good night. So I thought I would give you guys um, an update on my supplements. I haven't changed them at all. But a lot of people keep asking for me to do this and also people at the gym also were asking. And so I thought I would just share with you the supplements I take. Check it out. These are the three things that I take. This is before the workout, a salt. 